Hello, welcome to a brand new studio vlog. I'm about to paint a moth and it's a death's head hawk moth. I recently got a new butterfly and moth book. It just came in the mail like a few days ago. So this is the moth I'm going to paint. And yeah, I, I, I love this book. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I thought I would paint a moth today because I, um, was looking through this book this morning and I was feeling so inspired and just <laughs> really wanting to paint a moth or like a butterfly. And I asked on Instagram, I asked you guys what kind of moth I, I should paint, and I give you three options. And one was a Luna moth, another was like, I don't remember what it was, some other kind of moth, and then another one is this moth. And as of right now, it's in between, like it's tied with Luna moth and this Death's Head Hawk moth. And so I decided to go ahead with this one because I haven't ever painted, oh wait, I, I have actually, I have painted a death's head hawk moth, but not um, just that moth, it was like part of a, of a painting. I've never painted one just the moth before. So yeah, that's what I'm up to this afternoon, and this morning I edited the April Art Challenge video, and it's a tutorial of the um, Barn Swallow Bird, so that is right now being uploaded to YouTube. Yay! The April Art Challenge has started, so if you would like to participate, you can find that video of the um, Barn Swallow Bird, that's the art challenge for this month. You can find that video on my channel. So I'm thinking about using the Decadent Pies pan set from Art Philosophy because there's like, it has all of the colors I need basically on this moth. Um, so there's like browns and golds and like, yeah, just like gold colors and stuff and some reds and then I, Brought in some black from my Windsor and Newton set and this yellow ochre too, and then this gray um, too. So how are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments how you're holding up to this self-isolation. I would love to know how you're doing. Um, I am doing okay. I'm kind of tired now of being home all the time. And I'm, I'm just, I miss my family and my friends and stuff. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure we are all missing our family and our friends and going out and doing things. A fellow subscriber here on the channel, she asked in the community tab what I have been doing during self-isolation or quarantine. And I would like to know what you're doing too. What are you guys up to um, during self-isolation? So Jessica asked me, you know, like what, what am I up to? And I have been, I feel like my life is kind of the same. Um, not much has changed. except just being home a little bit extra um, because I, I'm always home even before this quarantine. I'm like home a lot because I work from home. So yeah, not, not much has changed, but I have been painting more, I feel like, at least. Yeah, I think I've been painting a little bit more. Um, I've been baking more. So I like, I've baked some banana bread the other day. 
Um, and I'm planning on baking some blueberry scones with some like frozen wild blueberries. And I made pancakes the other day, which is odd because I don't usually make pancakes. Um, I, I like pancakes a lot. I just don't usually spend a lot of time on breakfast, like making breakfast. So, and I've also been reading more, I feel like. And of course, I've been cleaning more, cleaning my house. So let me know in the comments what, what you've been up to. Um, how have you been dealing with this self-isolation? Um, and Jessica also asked me um, if I'm married. <laughs> um, yes, I'm married. I have been married for five and a half years now and yep <laughs> and she also asked me um, if I have any kids and I do not have kids maybe I will someday um, yeah that's all I have to say about that <laughs> and yeah also it's been weird like the self-isolation because Jimmy my husband has been home this is his third week being home like working from home so that's just been kind of weird having him here I hope he doesn't hear me. I don't think he hears me. And yeah, it's been kind of distracting having him here. <laughs> but it's been okay. Some days, like our desktops are like in the same room. So like it's kind of like our office. And when I'm editing videos, sometimes he's there and it's kind of like, oh, I hope I'm not distracting you from work <laughs> and stuff. Anyways, yeah, it's just, it's just been weird. I'm not used to having him home with me all the time. Okay, I think I'm going to um, continue this painting and let me know in the comments how you're doing, what you've been up to. I, I would love to know. I would love to know how you're doing. So yeah, I just hope you guys are doing okay.
shop update today and I'm going to be adding all of these originals to my shop as well as these stickers that we unboxed in the last vlog and this bookmark. Which painting is your favorite? Comment below and let me know. I don't know which one is mine. I love all of them so much. I do know that this one here is probably my, like one of my top favorites. And this cute little snail with his mushrooms. And this moth. I, I'm really happy with this moth. It was quite difficult, but I love how it turned out. And these two paintings here, I filmed today for my beginner watercolor class. I am officially done filming for that class. Yay! I'm so excited. I've been working on it for like a long time, for months. Now I'm going to take photos for my shop update. Hey there, it is now Saturday and the shop update went well. I got a few orders, so thank you to those of you who have placed an order. I appreciate you so much. I will be packing up those orders in the next vlog, so on Monday in a few days. And I am now going to sleeve up these paintings and file them away. File them away. <laughs> Put them away somewhere and maybe hang some on my wall and then later I am going to start illustrating some washi tape for the very first time so that will be in the next vlog anyway so I thought I, I would try something new next week which is illustrating washi tape with some watercolors um, and figuring out like like finding a manufacturer and um, ordering washi tape <sighs> it's my cat it's Leo Thank you for hanging out with me this week, and I hope you're doing well. I appreciate you all so much, and I'll see you in the next vlog. And if you're still watching, I, I want to ask you a question that, that you can answer in the comments. Let's see, if you're still watching, if you're here right now, comment below your pet's name. So my pet, Leo, that's his name, my cat. Um, so comment below your, your pet's name. And yeah, thank you so much if you made it this far into the vlog. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next studio vlog or in the next tutorial. See you soon.